Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo Man here, and welcome back to Let's Build a Castle. This is episode 3, where we will be building two main battle tower along our battlements uh, for this castle. We're starting off by one of the main towers on the right side. We're using the same kind of color combination and same palette as we did on the previous video where we built the main gatehouse you can see in the background there. We're using the sandstone bricks for the bottom parts and kind of making the foundation a little wider to make it more supportive uh, to make the whole castle feel more realistic. We're also going to be using the same blocks for the main part of the tower as well. We're going to be using some cobblestone, some of the diorite blocks, some diorite cobblestone, some diorite uh bricks and also some um plastered stone for that one now we're just going to make the whole area around here and then stack it upward by a little bit we're going to see how much we want to stack it up and how much looks good or not that's a little too tall so we're going to go for something in the middle approximately you can see that i'm now just currently only using the diorite cobblestone block we're going to mix that in with a lot of different kind of blocks here here i'm doing it by hand because I often think that the results are better when you do it by hand because you can do it in patches and things. So uh, I'm doing this right here using the main patches of uh, the blocks that we have been talking about. Trying to make it more cobblestone or more heavily cobblestone at the bottom and then kind of easy to make it more lighter towards the top. So we have a nice transition from the dark uh, sandstone bricks in the bottom and then we kind of move up towards the main uh, crenellation on the top here. For this tower I really want to go ahead and use some kind of matripulation uh, which is a crenellation that kind of sticks out a little bit from the main tower and allows uh, the archers and the soldiers guards on the top to throw things straight down and also shoot arrows straight down so there are some kind of arrow slits in the floor down below them uh, so you can shoot straight down here. You can see that I'm adding some patches of plastered stone here because I really th do think that looks really, really nice. And we're almost done with the most tedious part of this tower here, and that is doing the main texture of the sides here. That takes a lot of time adding all of the different textures and making that look nice and realistic. Because uh, as you can see, I'm trying to uh, do everything by hand, make the cobblestone mostly heavy on the ground or down below, and then kind of ease it, make it more lighter and brighter as we move towards the top here. But we're getting really close to the end now. Uh, before we start working on the main crenellation here. I was starting on the crenellation, uh, working out a little bit of how far I want the different kind of corbels to be here. Corbels are the things that support the main crenellation or the matriculation, so it makes it able to stand out from the main building itself. Uh, trying to figure out how to do that the best way and I think I come up with a nice decision here you can see from down here that I'm opening up some of the side allowing for arrows and stuff to be shooting straight down uh, that's one of the reasons why you would build the, the crenellation up here outwards a little bit so that you are able to shoot straight down on your enemies or even drop things like uh, hot rocks or oil maybe boiling oil or mud or something straight down on your enemies so that gives a really good defensive position right here. Just repeating that design all the way around here. Because uh, I really like how that turned out with the arches in between the main corbels. And then some secondary corbels sticking out from that again. Now we're adding the main crenellation on top here. Uh, with um, some blocks taller than the other to make the archers uh, hide between them. Also switching out some of the blocks here for the holes arrow slits in the ground here to make them a little bit smaller using the corner blocks instead because I think that looks much much better we're gonna add a little bit of detail here using some marble because that's one of the style or themes I really want to go for for this castle to make it look really really nice in really really detail almost like a royal castle uh, where they will spend a lot of money getting the right details on here now let's add just a simple flooring in here uh, we're gonna use some stone slabs very simple then we're going to carve off the small hole where we're going to have the staircase. I'm going to do the interiors off camera and I will show you later on with a small walkthrough where we're going to take a look on the staircase and all the different rooms. Now we're moving over to the second tower here. I'm just going to do this a little faster because it's very repetitive. But this one has a small twist to it because it's kind of based on a diagonal shape. 
uh, it's not a complete square like the other one so it's a little bit more tricky but um, we're going to use the same style and same design kind of we're going to add a little bit of a variation to the top of this one you can see that I'm doing what I did on the first one kind of just stacking up trying to find a nice height this tower is a little bit shorter uh, than the first one because I think uh, it looks massiver when it's on the on a diagonal like this so I decided to keep it lower so that it will look even better I think compared to the other tower to make it look more thick and more strong and lower and the other one can be like a little bit skinnier and also taller to make it more defensive here for this one I actually used a brush for the walls uh, to make the texture so I just use slash slash brush sphere uh, and the different kind of blocks, the diorite and the diorite bricks and diorite stone and then we kind of just mash that onto the walls here using a mask uh, before I start adding in some of the plastered stone because I really think the plastered stone should be in patches or blobs whatever you want to call it I had a lot of hard time doing uh, the granulation for this build here because I really wanted to have some kind of matriculation sticking out from this one but it's so hard to do that when it's on a diagonal like this so I had a really hard time doing that but I figured out a design in the end which I think works it's not the best you can definitely come up with something better so you might have to change some of this because in the end I'm not completely sold on this diagonal tower here uh, maybe we will improve our skills during this here so we can rebuild all this to make it look even better I don't know we'll have to see in the future but uh, this is uh, really starting to take shape I think uh, the matriculation is the best we can get it. The corbels are looking nice even from the sides. So uh, yeah, I think I'm satisfied with those. It will have to change them though. I'm not really sure. Adding the crenellation on top here making it look really nice. And just finishing off with a small kind of stone slab on top of that. Then we're going to start doing the small twist on top here. Which is one of the hardest part I think. Because we need to, to make... Uh, another building on top of this uh, because I want them to be able to have like a staircase going inside instead of a staircase coming straight up to the surface here we want to have a small stair building or almost like a stair tower in the middle and doing that also on diagonal was hard and we're gonna put a main roof on this as well which was even harder but I think I, I made it work uh, as I've said we might have to redo some of this but uh, we're getting really close to an end here guys so I'll meet you down here uh, for a small walkthrough and I hope you guys enjoy this time lapse. Alright guys, I really do hope you enjoy that small time lapse. Now we are going to walk through the interiors of the tower and the gate house so I can show you what I've done in between the time lapses. Let's start off with the gate house here. You can see we have a main gate in the front here which we can lower down to prevent enemies from getting through. But if they somehow get through the first gate, there is a secondary gate and this will be closed. And here we have arrow slits on both sides uh, where soldiers and your army can kind of stand behind here and shoot arrows at them. And also there are murder holes above you. So if your enemies get this far, they will die from uh, burning objects being dropped from up here or arrows. Uh, and that will take down a lot of enemies, but if they somehow get through this gate They get to this other part where there's a sec like a third gate which will be blocked and here There are a lot of arrow slits. There's three arrow slits on either side here And there are three murder holes above uh, If not four, there's actually four murder holes up here. So uh, you will be pretty uh, dead if you were trapped in between the gates here but yeah, let's move on. Let's go to this left side first. Here is just some storage for things and arrows and weapons and just for a, like the guards to be sitting when they're on guard. Uh, in case someone comes, they're ready, staying here to just fire arrows at them um, like nobody's freaking business. Uh, just a small nice room. I like the interior, like the feeling it has. Let's move over to the other side here here we still have a little bit of like, just like hanging out area for the guards I don't know what it's actually called but we also do have a fireplace here and up here we are boiling some oil or maybe just water to keep it really nice and warm you can see it kind of hanging on the planks there uh, and that is so they can bring it up here all the way up 
and they can drop it down through these murder holes on your enemies from down here. Uh, and this second floor here, there's a lot of storage for arrows and, and uh, spears and stuff. There's also like maybe some food. And you can see there's some coal here. This is supposed to be like uh, stones and rocks they can throw down at them. I've also tried to make some kind of uh, mechanism to lower and um, rise up these. Am I where? Yeah, I have a torch in my hand. That's why the light is glitching so much. Uh, some kind of mechanism to lower and rise up these gates here. We can see we have one there. There's another one there. And there's also one for the first gate right here to uh, lower and uh, rise up the gates. More storage on this side and you can walk up this small ladder here and you have an, like a bow here and there's an arrow slit so you can shoot your enemies on the bridge from up here and from a very very nice position right here. You can go down here again and then you can go into this tower here where there is one more arrow slit to this side you can shoot down on enemies on this side here. Uh, some storage below here but also there is another floor to this which is done or fully furnished I do believe yes. So you can go up here and more storage and there's also a big outer slit to the back here in case your enemies get through you can still shoot them from up here then uh, you have a nice small area up here and then some more area this is where like the main guards uh, or the commander would sit and he would go out here to um, alarm if enemies got through or to call for more backup you know you can go out on this balcony um, this also leads out to this other tower or this other part of the tower where there are arrow slits uh, facing you can kind of see the bridge from up here as well and then to the side like that and there's also a way to get up to another layer this is a big building but it's not completely done yet uh, trying to work out how I want to do this but up here we also have like some kind of crenellation or uh, machiculations on the top here so that you can shoot down on your enemies from up here as well. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Uh, and we can take a look on the interior of this tower here. This is the only tower that is fully furnished yet. Well, let's go through here. Uh, we get in here, we have a small like basement or lower level and we did fairly a good roof like uh, ceiling height here uh, there's some barrels of maybe food and stuff um, we have spears we have some tools arrows you know just stuff hanging out here and also some coats and things for the guys uh, and then we can walk up this spiral staircase to the next level where there are more storage more spares arrows and things you can see there's some arrow slits to the side here you can go up this staircase even more I really like how uh, detailed all of this is. It feels like proper home. No, not a home, but it feels very good when there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, more stones, spears, and things to throw at your enemies. And when you get all the way to the top here, uh, we have some more crenellation and also this machiculation. That's a really hard word for me to say, which is this part sticking out from the wall. It's like a crenellation sticking out. And there's also holes here uh, in the side so you can drop hot rocks or even oil or shoot arrows straight down on your enemy from up here which is a really good advantage you can see we have them all the way around here that's uh, very nice uh, so you can shoot down on all the sides here which is very great in case of a war but that my friends is all there is time for for today's episode of let's build a castle i really do hope you enjoyed if so, be sure to smack that like button, and if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.